in this lesson we are going to learn how to create a mega menu okay so let's create a folder on our desktop right click new and give it mega menu so take the folder to your ide visual studio code create two files index.html style.css okay you come here shift one press enter key let's link the two files together um, link style.css so you come in here you create a nav tag nav then give this nav tag a class mega menu then within this tag you create a list ul you can give this list a class menu okay so come here li multiply by six so you come here and call home the second one about third one shop fourth let's say contact fifth cut and sixth account now save it right click review in file explorer double click on your internet file so you can see that we have all the um, items here so minimize this now over here we want the drop down mega menu to be under this uh, particular uh, shop so what you need to do is to click here and press enter key before we proceed give here a class has menu you create a div and give this div sub menu then in between this div you create uh, two other divs div you give this a class column second div give it a class also column so within here you create h3 product categories then you create ul li let's list three for now so let's bring other links here or two is okay for now so you come in here the second one fashion so you move to the next div also you come here click h3 pressure offer you will you can give this discounts gift okay so let's refresh the browser to see what we have done so you can see how we've arranged it we have the main menu here and as well as the sub menu so it's time for us to style this using the css that we've created so you just come here you go to the body the margin we want it to be zero you don't want any margin then padding we want it to be zero also so we come here and take this mega menu dot mega menu test align center background color 
and take anything close to white. So we go to the menu. Okay, we take the menu. Dot menu. The list type type. Padding. Padding top. Should be 30 px. Margin. Margin should be zero. Display. Uh, inline block. Background color. I have this. So if I refresh the browser, this is what we have. Okay, so we have to change the width to 100%. So you come here and say width 100%. So if I refresh that, this is what we have. So let's focus on the list, the li dot menu li display inline block display inline block. So okay, you can see we have it, you know displaying like this so we go for the list also which are the anchors the eight tags or these ones the okay for the links l i a display block padding 10 p x 20 p x test decoration none color anything close to white so if i refresh this so now we have it displaying like this so you can see it's supposed to be on a straight line but because um these are part of the sub menu that belongs to um that belongs to shop so that is why it's displaying like this so let's quickly style this up so that when we hover on it you know this font will change to um, black dot menu l i a hover um color it should change to black so if i refresh this so you can see that when i hover on them um, they change to black the list also dot menu L I hover background color should be this also. So if I refresh when I hover, you can see that it changes the background color to white. So now let's focus on this particular block of code. You can see from here to here, and I give it sub menu dot sub menu so what i want to do is to hide this sub menu okay so i will come here and say um display no so if i refresh it it hides it you can see that it's no longer showing the position should be fixed the width should be 600 percent and the test align should be left so if i refresh you won't see anything you know we will quickly display that in the next um, block so now let's focus on this particular uh, block okay has menu dot menu hover dot sub menu display block so i want when i hover on it you should be able to display the block if i refresh so you can see it's displaying the block the width should be 700 px and background color let's take this the same color with the other background so if I refresh, so you can see we have the background color actually showing up like this. So let's create a shadow under this particular 
um, box okay so box shadow and say 0 px 8 p px 16 px 0 px so you can just give it a a color that is very light though this is uh, thick so if i refresh you can see that it, the box now has a shadow under it but this shadow is too thick we can just uh, reduce it okay so you save that let's refresh again over so it's a little bit better now so let's focus on this particular block on the column so let's take this the sub menu dot column you can say display in line block so if i refresh this so you can see that we are gradually styling up the columns okay so so the width should be 14 percent so if i refresh this so you can see that we've given the width 40 percent okay the padding 10 px vertical align top and column gap column gap should be let's say 10 px so there should be a gap between the columns so, okay dot sub menu dot column ul the list type type the list type type should be no no padding be zero in the sub menu margin should be zero also and column count should be two let's quickly style up these uh, headers the h3 so we have the sub menu the column the h3 you can just say font font size 21 px font width bold margin bottom 10px padding left 30px color dot column u u l l i width 160 px padding left should be 50 px the only thing i need to do now is to add more product categories and special offers okay so um we are done with the code so i will just go to this html you know and quickly type more items here so I'll just add more items here interior so for special offer also I will add more items here LI. okay so I have succeeded in adding more items to the sub menu so you can quickly do that so when i hover over shop you can see that we have a lot of pages displaying here this is the best option for you whenever you have uh, a lot of pages to be used as sub menu okay please thanks for watching subscribe to this channel and share this video across all your social media platforms so that will help to grow the channel and encourage me to produce uh, more videos of this type thanks so much for watching